This is TJ with Bull Ridge Plumbing. We are at 1218 Cosgrip Court, making a dirty movie down in the basement. Currently 110 feet out. That is our city main. We are accessing through a two inch clean out in the basement mechanical room attached to the kitchen and laundry line. We start backing up. We are on a clay waistline. There it is. Um, clay waistline, we expect to see a few roots. We expect to see slight separations. This one does not disappoint on the separations. There's a separation right away, right there. Pretty minor. More sep another separation right there. Um, right there, we got a slight separation. A few roots coming in there on the right side. Nothing major. Um, looks like this sewer has been cleaned, getting a lot of black sludge back on this one because of the cast iron. Here we uh, we fall into a little bit of a belly right here. We got good grade. I'm not exactly sure what the belly's from. If you watch that bottom left hand side, as long as we've got a negative number, we've really good grade on there. Got a little bit of a belly here, some sludgy buildup. Water's about three quarters of an inch deep. Nothing major, right here about maybe an inch. The camera is an inch thick. So anytime we go over that inch, we go completely underwater. Pause for just a second here. Okay. I need to get another rag real quick. Turn me off like four of them, please. Cruising on back still here. We're looking pretty good. Thank you. So like oh, man. Do you want me to go get you an actual rack? No, that's fine. I can just use this. Just cruising on back, everything's looking pretty good. You know, we still have these bellies. Anytime we have a belly, it's a little bit of a concern because it may catch and hold debris or, uh, we might have to do and build up sludge. It may require more maintenance than normal. Like I said, we will check it out on a big screen because I'm looking at it on my telephone. We can't always see everything. Here you can see that our grade has changed. We've got a plus two, so we're kind of going uphill right here, which is why we have that little bit of a belly. We pull out of that fairly quick. We're, once again, we're just right about an inch deep there. I'm going to recommend that we do a sewer clean here because of the sludge and the bellies and then we will treat it with some bio one and some root X for any roots that we're not seeing because of the water that we're in. Here we're going to go around a turn. We're going to pop in to a little side line right here. Um, you can actually see that we do have, actually you can't see anything here. Oh no, I got it right here. Okay, here we come around. We've got a lot of sludge built up in this area. Can I get some more of those paper towels, please? is ridiculous. A lot of sludge and build up down here off of this two inch PVC line in the mechanical room across from the water heater. I'm going to recommend that we do a descale of the cast iron off of this line because here's that line and it's pretty heavily scaled and we're getting a lot of nasty nasty sludge out of this. This black stuff is the reason why we shouldn't be in sewers. Just saying. 
can see the trough that we've created here. Shoving the camera down through this stuff. This is all from the kitchen and the laundry. Pretty normal to get this gnarly sludge off of it. Here we're gonna pop up our clean out and I'll do my best to show you around. We're just, we're pretty messy. Dominic is not amused. Here's the access that we went down. Here's the mess that we made. Here's Dominic over here kind of grossed out because of what I just put my hands in. Yeah. So this has been, or we're, we're going to recommend those cleans and we're going to recommend treatment with some bio one and root X. This has been a Bull Ridge dirty movie production. Thank you.